Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a extra spooky Let's Play in Minecraft. This is the Halloween special of Stampy's Lovely World! <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody! Um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a very scary episode today, so uh, make sure you've got all of your blankets ready so you can hide your heads when things start to get spooky. And uh, yeah, there's no Lee at the beginning. Uh, that's because Lee's over in his house, and uh, I'm going to be going and trick-or-treating him uh, soon, which means uh, all I've got to eat is this cake here, which has been left on this table for absolutely ages. And as you can see, it's gone all horrible and mouldy and disgusting. So, right, this is going to have to be my breakfast. This is going to have to do. I'm going to hold my nose. Yep. 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 <laughs> I can't eat any more of that. That's horrible. I need to find something else to eat a little bit later on. <laughs> and as you can see, everything's different. Everything uh, has been decorated Halloween style. Instead of a bed, I've got a coffin. And look at my chest here. Instead of a chest, it's a horrible little monster thingy. And I've got my costume as well. I've got my uh, Halloween costume. I've decided uh, to dress up as a clown. And so if I go and put on the trousers, my boots, and then my uh, chest plate, there we go. You can see that I now look like Stamp cat the clown. I think it looks pretty awesome. I think that's a, a, a pretty good look for me. And so what I'm going to do now is go around to uh, all of my friends and uh, trick or treat them and hopefully I get a load of stuff. Oh actually also I should probably show you through here. Uh, it's not only the uh, the players that have been dressing up but uh, Henry and Hilda has as well. Uh, Henry's always sitting in that seat for some reason but you can see um, he's pretty scary as he is so all he's done is put a scarf on but Hilda has done loads of effort and has completely dressed up as a Frankenstein and I think that looks awesome. Them. Good show, guys. Good shows. <laughs> I won't trick or treat them because they never give me anything, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm going to go and do now is uh, head over to the spooky version of my love garden. No, no, look! Fred's dressed up as well. Fred, my friendly Enderman, has dressed up as Slender. That's a pretty awesome. That's a pretty cool costume, Fred. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, today to my love garden, I am adding Matthew Chung. And uh, there's a few reasons why I'm adding him. Uh, he comments on pretty much all of my videos. Uh, he's also sent me loads of amazing fan art, some of which uh, you can see on screen now. But the main reason is because I believe he is psychic. He sent me a message on Facebook uh, recommending what I should do for my Halloween special and he almost exactly recommended what I was already planning to do. He says I, I should go trick or treating with my friends, have a party in my clubhouse, then go to Googly's Manor and that is almost exactly what I'm going to be doing today. And so for that reason and uh, for all of the uh, comments and pictures and videos uh, I wanted to say a big thank you to you Math uh, Matthew Chung and welcome to my love garden. Anyway now it's time to go trick or treating and just look at my world. Look how weird and spooky it is. Look at my googly's trap over there. All of the lava's green and the sky is orange with purple clouds. Uh, yeah, it's certainly uh, very different compared to what it's normally like. And uh, I believe uh, Ballistic Squid is down here in his house. So um, I do have my little bucket ready, uh, which will hopefully by the end of the video uh, be filled up with all sorts of sweets and candy. And so yeah, let's go and start trick or treating. Trick or treat! Trick or treat, Squid! Oh, sorry, Squid! <laughs> there we go, I guess that's your trick. I didn't mean to punch you. I was knocking on the door quite furiously. Right, what have you got? Have you got a trick or a treat? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Um... Uh, oh, pff, 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 oh! What is this? What is this horrible purple water that you've just sprayed at me? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I guess you got a trick then. I should have guessed. I should have guessed. Oh, I think he's got a cake though. Is this my treat? Is that supposed to be my treat? Another horrible moldy cake? You know what? I had one of those for breakfast and it's very nice of you, uh, but I think I'm going to pass. I'm going to stick with uh, some of Lee's cakes. He is the, uh, the tasty uh, Stampy's uh, Hot Buns branded cakes. <laughs> I am though. I'm uh, going to have this uh, fizzy drink that he gave me because uh, yeah it will hopefully allow me uh, to get quicker over to everybody else's house so uh, look at my world look how different it all is everything just looks so odd in this new Halloween themed texture pack I love it though let's go have a look at the animals shall we shall we see how they've all changed you can see all oh, the chickens have all dressed up as well all of my animals have got into costume as well <laughs> you can see that what's that oh that's the, the mushroom and look at the cow it's like a weird looking devil cow I think that looks hilarious <laughs> uh, anyway uh, I'm also being joined in this video uh, by Miss Minecraft Xbox Live Arcade, uh, who used to be called Epic Big C, as well as, of course, uh, Elfa Lee, who's uh, over in his moose house. So uh, I think I'm going to go and call on Chloe first. So I'm going to get my bucket, and hopefully you know, I'm going to get a treat this time and not uh, another trick like Squid gave me. So, uh, Chloe, Chloe, are you home? Trick or treat! 
Trick or treat. Hello, is anybody there? Oh my god! <laughs> what have you dressed up as? She's a she's a ghost with a scary clown mask, and she gave me a treat. She gave me an Oreo and golden apples. Yay! You can come again. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, the last person I need to go and call on is of course Elfa Lee. So I'm gonna go down here and uh, ring his doorbell. Trick or treat, Lee. Trick or treat. Anybody home? Has hit the target. It's hit the target. What's he doing here? Oh, he's attacking me. Oh, wait a minute. That's not hit the target. That's Elfa Lee. Is that what your costume is? Is that what you dressed up as? Yeah, good idea. Go change into something else. That's terrifying. You can't do that to me. Do you know how much trouble I've had with hit the target? That was a mean prank to play. I guess that uh, I've got two tricks then and one treat from Chloe then. So I suppose that is uh, that is fair enough. Uh, Anyway, Lee, you ready to go and play on the uh, the pumpkin party? Are you ready to go and have some fun? Oh, what was that? He's just dunked me down and squid as well. What was that? Well, that's the that's the green lava. Is this is this more of your trick? <laughs> um, all right, I guess we've got to get out of here. I think there's a lever down here, Squid. If I pull this, okay. There's a there's another little uh, hole going down here. Oh, I don't like this place. This place is scary. Squid, do you wanna do you wanna go first and uh, make sure the place is clear? I don't even have any torches on me. Oh yeah, I do. I got weird green looking torches. Oh, this place is terrifying. Oh look there. Is that there's a ghost? Squid, there's a ghost next to you. Oh, it's a creeper. It's a creeper ghost. Quick, take it out. What's it doing? It's just staring into the bookcase. That is rather peculiar. Oh no. <laughs> it looks like I blow the entire place up. Sorry, Lee. I, I broke your little scary room down here. This is actually a really terrifying looking room. Can we get out of here? Can we go on to the pumpkin party? Oh, this is more like it. This is the sort of room I wanted, even though it is the horrible green sort of nuclear looking uh, nuclear looking cakes. They uh, yeah, they're still certainly better than the uh, the other room. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go and have the uh, the pumpkin party. Uh, what I've decided to do for my Halloween special is that I've made up a new little mini game. And it's going to be me, uh, Lee and Squid competing against each other. And uh, Chloe's going to be the judge. And uh, yeah, I'm going to quickly explain the rules to you here. They are a little bit confusing at first, but... Uh, they do sound a lot more confusing than they actually are. So uh, yeah, hopefully once I've explained it, it will all make sense. Basically... We all start here and we all have a lane each. Uh, in this chest here are all of the materials we need uh, to start growing a pumpkin. And we then have to break our way through the banished bush. Uh, that we then end up here and in these pits of water I'm going to throw some apples. And we need to go down and bob for the apples. Uh, we then throw the apples down that pit which will raise that block and so we can get out of the chest a tail from of a moose <laughs> we then go up to the uh terrifying tower oh no the tower of terror i think i called it and we've got to make our way up here by flapping these uh trap doors and at the top is the pumpkin princess we've got to give the pumpkin princess a kiss and uh, we also get from a chest a bow and arrow we then drop down that hole and try to land in that very small block of water so yeah that's the the most dangerous bit and we then run over here we shoot an arrow at this uh pumpkin prince who is evil and uh, the sign drops off and lands uh down on the uh pressure pad uh that will then make a block raise there so we can get over that fence we pin the tail on the moose and whoever does that quickest wins uh, but the one twist is if you do it with a pumpkin on your head, uh, you get bonus points. So uh, if your pumpkin back here grows in time, uh, you can put that on your head. And then if you put the um, the, uh, the tail on the moose with a pumpkin on your head, you get bonus points. So yeah, that, that's entirely what the game's going to be. So uh, if everyone comes over here and uh, empties out all of their stuff into one of these chests, uh, just so you've got no like things uh, weighing you down as you go. So I'm just going to put uh, everything just down in here. And uh, apart from free apples, which I'm going to go and throw down. Uh, yeah, so we can do the, the apple bob. I should probably uh, get just some sort of block as well, just so I can uh, actually get inside. So let's see if I can uh, throw all of these in. This is going to be a little bit of a, of a challenge now as well. Right, if I place that down there and hop up here. Let's try and throw the apples in the hole. Uh, apple number one. <laughs> just about. Just about got it in. Apple number two. Awesome. And apple number three. There we go. We've all got an apple to bob and uh, try and get. Uh, so everybody get to the starting lines. Uh, everybody pick a lane that they want to go in. Uh, I think I'll go for the middle one. Uh, they're all exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. And then when you're ready, Chloe, uh, pull the lever and start if you dare, it says. Right, pull the lever whenever you're ready, Chloe, and we will begin the pumpkin party. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I think she's building up tension. Right, there we go. We are off. And uh, I got my hoe, a bone mill, and some pumpkin seeds. I'm going to put down the pumpkin seeds, uh, use the bone mill. I'm going to go and uh, use the hoe and all of 
of the dirt round here. So hopefully uh, it will grow quicker. Then I'm going to uh, break my way through the banished bush. Uh, I don't know why this bush was banished. Maybe it was uh, evil and prickled everybody that tried and walked past it or something. I don't know. Uh, but I managed to get the apple. Then I want to swim up as quick as I can and hopefully not drown. Uh, if anyone dies or fails or lags out or anything uh, at any point, then they do fail. So you've got to be very careful. Uh, I jump up here and I get the tail from the moose. And then I start climbing up. And look at the other two. Look and Squid and Lee go. They are miles ahead. Right, this is my chance to catch up. I am normally relatively good at this, but um, yeah, apparently not when I'm under pressure. Right, go, 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 go. Like, the idea is you've got to flap all the ones above you, then you jump and flap them, and if you're really quick, you've got to keep going up. Oh, this is so close. We're all like completely neck and neck. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, I'm under so much pressure. I can normally do this so well, but when I can hear everyone like right next to me, like Squid is like directly to my side. But remember, if you do have the uh, the pumpkin on your head as you cross the finish line, that takes away 30 seconds from your time. So uh, even if I am slower here, if I manage to get the pumpkin on my head, I could still definitely win. But we're all literally completely neck and neck. We're like here at the exact same time. I guess Lee and Squid are doing this as rubbish and slowly as I am. And when you get to the top, make sure you do kiss the pumpkin princess. You can't just grab the stuff. I'm going to be looking to make sure you kiss. Uh, anyway, I'm right at the top. I've made it. Go, 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 go. I think I got it first. Right, give her a big smooch. Mwah. There we go. And then from here, I need to go and get my bow and arrow. And this is the dangerous bit. This is where I need to be very careful to make sure I land in the water. Right, I'm crouch and drop. Go, 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 go. I can see Lee going as well. I made it. I managed to go in. I didn't manage to die. I think I am completely neck and neck with Lee. Has my pumpkin grown though? That's what I need to go and check. If it's grown, I can go and put it on my head. And it, it hasn't. I haven't got the pumpkin. Right, go, 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 go. Right, shoot the arrow. I'm going to shoot the slender man. And it's, oh no, it failed. It didn't land down on there. Right, I'm going to have to try and throw something to try and make it land on there. If I go and throw that, will it land? I oh, know I can't do it. I can't do it. My paintings land in the, landed in the wrong place. Um, have I got a pumpkin? I, I don't think I've got a pumpkin. I don't know what to do now. I need something to try and throw over. I could maybe try and throw the, the hoe maybe. Oh no, I think they've made it across to the end. Can I throw the hoe? Oh, look how close it is. Is there anything else? If I try and break some of these leaves, uh, I might be able to get like a sapling or an apple. I could still win if my pumpkin grows now, even though they've crossed the line first. If I put the pumpkin on my head, that could still uh, take away 30 seconds and I could still make it. Right, if I go and try and get a big throw, throw it. Is it going to land? No, look how close it is. It's right on the very edge. Has my pumpkin grown yet? Oh, I think I've failed. I think I've failed. My painting didn't land on the pressure pads. I can see Lee has already pinned the tail down there. I don't know what else I could do. I could maybe try throwing my bow, maybe. Right, if I do a big throw, jump and throw. Is it going to land? No, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. I believe I have failed. Right, okay, let's go and see what the... um. Uh, what the scores are. Chloe's been uh, up on her judge's little booth up there and been uh, watching over the proceedings. It looks like Lee, I think, was first. Then I think Squid might have been second. And then I was last. Did anyone do it with a pumpkin on their head, though? I don't think anyone did it with a pumpkin on their head. Look, none of the pumpkins have grown yet. They were all really slow. All right, so over here, um, we got the uh, the first, second, and third place. So first place uh, gets to stand on a gold block. So you can stand on that, Lee. Uh, second place has iron. And third place has to stand inside of a slippery cauldron. <laughs> the Calamity Cauldron, I think I wanted to call this. Right, here we go. Third place. Well done, Mr. Stampy Cat. Oh, that was so annoying. I was so set to win, but just the painting just landed in the wrong place. That was so unlucky. It doesn't matter, though. I think they did uh, deserve to win. That was good fun, though. That was good fun. So I think uh, Chloe's uh, just putting down the um, the times. <laughs> I don't know what time she's going to put down for me, seeing as I never did actually finish the game at all. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. It was still good fun, so I don't know if we've got any prizes or anything. Uh, let me go back into my chest and grab my stuff and see if there's anything I could give as a prize. I know what I could do. I could give um, a golden apple to Lee, seeing as he won. And then me and Squid can have one of the Oreos. We can have uh, some of the presents that Chloe gave me at the beginning of the video. So uh, here we go, Lee. Uh, you can go and have a very lovely golden apple. And uh, if here, Squid, you can go and have yourself an Oreo. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have my Oreo a little bit later on. So let's see what the times were. Squid did it in uh, about three minutes. Uh, Lee did it in two minutes and 13 seconds. And uh, I, of course, didn't do it at all. Did not finish. <laughs> oh, dear. That was awesome. Good fun. Well done, Lee. Uh, anyway. 
uh, we are now going to go and uh, head over to the uh, the Funland, and uh, I'm going to go through Googly's Manor. And uh, some of you might know no, uh, what it is, and some of you might not, depending uh, when you started watching my videos. But it's basically uh, a haunted house, which I built a really long time ago. Uh, but in this new texture pack, it looks even better. And as uh, seen as it's Halloween, this seems to be uh, the perfect time to go and have a look at it. And look how eager Lee is, ender pearling ahead of me to try and get in first. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so this is what Googly's Manor looks like. Uh, you can see the whole building kind of looks like a bit of a scary face with teeth there in the entrance. And yeah, there's just a, a whole bunch of different scary rooms. So uh, if you've not seen this place before, uh, as I said, make sure you've got a blanket ready just to, to hide your head under it in case you get scared. <laughs> I can already hear a bunch of Googly's growling and stuff all over the place. And look at all the scary paintings. And look at the door. The door's haunted, continually flapping open and closed. And uh, this is the, uh, the Googly's dining room. And sometimes, uh, unfortunately not today, uh, you do have Googly's coming down here and having a dinner party. Uh, they fall down through the ceiling and land in the seats, but uh, I guess they're a little bit shy today. Maybe uh, just like we are, they're out and about trick-or-treating their other Googly's friends, though. So, uh, none of them are inside having a, a Googly's dinner party. Maybe uh, they'll drop down in a little bit. And through here... Uh, we have the witch's room where you've got to watch out because arrows fire across the room and there's a terrifying jack-o'-lantern comes out. And here is Cake Corridor. And if you run over here, you can go and eat the cake and whoa, you fall down. And oh, look, there's a googly. Oh, is that a zombie? Oh, look at it. Oh, he's a friendly one, though. He's not attacking us. He's just he's just chilling out down here. That is um that is a little bit terrifying, to be honest. <laughs> it's a really pale skinned zombie just wandering around down here. And uh, here you can see an evil snow golem. And uh, down here, um, there's... Okay, there's not much in this one. I, I think that prisoner's escaped. <laughs> and through here is evil Mr. Porkchop. Half skeleton, half pig with a beard. He uh, has been very evil in my world. We've trapped him down here. And uh, then we go into this cell and we go up here. And this is the uh, the evil child's bedroom where you can see uh, a big model of evil Mr. Porkchop there as well as some uh, terrifying floating ghosts around the place. And through here, this is the creeper's bedroom. This is where the creeper lives. You can see there's the creeper bedspread. And oh no, the lights come out as you go out, as you go in. <laughs> it gets all horrible and dark in here. And stop trying to scare me, Lee. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> and that's it. That is uh, Googly's Manor. So uh, I know a lot of you might have seen it before if you're watching my videos then. But uh, yeah, I haven't been in it in a while. And uh, yeah, it just seemed like the, uh, the perfect time, seeing as it's Halloween, to come down here. And you can just hear the Googly's all over the place. You can just hear like constant growling and all sorts from going around like... Uh, uh, inside of all of the walls and that. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of this video here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully uh, you are all having a, a very enjoyable Halloween yourselves and uh, if you are going trick or treating, uh, hopefully you get lots of sweets and candy and have uh, a generally good and spooky time. Uh, but that's the end of this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later.